The stories swirling around Jags rookie quarterback Garner Minshew were tough to comprehend. His parents almost named him Beowulf, catches fish with his bare hands, slept on a $10 mattress in college, walk-on dreamer turned star. But I knew he reminded me of someone, Uncle Rico, legendary figure from the movie Napoleon Dynamite. How you doing? I need your help. Okay. New quarterback in town. Plays like a modern day Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico. There's only one Uncle Rico. Check this out. Back in 82, I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Watch this. <laughs> How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over them mountains? How did that get in there? Yeah. If a coach would have put me in fourth quarter, we'd have been state champions, no doubt. No doubt in my mind. You better believe things would have been different. That's the wrong one. Come on, technology. All right. That's gotta be the right one. Yeah. Uncle Rico, why is he so good? Good. Yeah, there's always some guy from Idaho. Coach would have put him in fourth quarter, they'd have gone to state. Yeah, he's good. But this guy, he could I'd like to meet this guy, and I'll tell you why. Because there's something missing. A little something. Got a good touch. I will give him that. I'd like to teach him and, and, and mold him a little bit, give him a little more, little, a little more sling from the wing, if you know what I mean. I'm kind of hungry. Let's go eat. Come on. I came for answers, but we left for food. And Uncle Rico didn't disappoint. At the Waffle House, I told Uncle Rico more about the legend of Garner Minshew. Yeah, man, this place got the best steaks in town. So it's like this guy Minshew with his jorts and his mustache. It's like a throwback to those macho quarterbacks of the 1970s. Okay, he went to four different universities, overlooked all the way around, and it says here he likes to stretch in his jock strap, and he likes to put a bottle of Crown Royal in the waistband of his pants. <laughs> yeah, well, he's making it big now. He's soaking it up in a hot tub with a soulmate in a big old mansion. Yeah, he made it through despite all, all the doubters, and that's the stuff of legend. He got a chance, and he took it. And most of us, and you know, we get this close, and then it just seems to pass us by, you know? That chance, that call. Uncle Rico? Gardner Minshew. Let's go see him. Yeah, let's go see him. We went across town to find Gardner Minshew, but before we could see him, Uncle Rico wanted a moment to warm up in the parking lot. All right, here we go, here we go. There he is. Oh, you caught me practicing. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Taught him everything you know. You know, he's pretty good, but do you really dance around with some Crown Royal down there? No. I, I have been known to. Really? I have. Yes. From That's time a college to time. thing, or is that still? I hope it's just college. I hope it doesn't follow me here. Yeah. Well, you know, jockstrap working out, though. Yeah. yeah the jockstrap. It's it's definitely a part of my wardrobe for sure. I think I taught you that one. I can't remember though, but maybe I did. Oh well. Anyway, but I'm missing that little sling that we worked on. Yeah. Where, where'd that go? I, I'm, I'm trying to get back to it. Yeah, well, um, you only got to use it when you need it. Yeah, yeah but it's so, important. Hey, just stay tuned. It'll, it'll be coming. All right. Well, yeah, you still think you can throw a football over them mountains, the stadium? I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. You and me both, brother. <laughs>
Come on. Come Let's on. do it. Let's do it's it. It's on. It's on. <laughs> it's on. It's on. It's on. Hey, guess what? Tough guys first. Yeah, man. Hey, who owns that orange van? It's getting towed. The orange van? It's yours. Hey, Uncle Rico. Yo. You taught me well. Hey, Gardner Minshew. Thanks for giving all the believers a chance to believe and a reason. I love you, man. Love you. All right. <laughs> I had come searching for answers but the truth often proves elusive. These days, life imitates art, and art, well, that line is as blurred as steak at a Waffle House. Gardner, I always knew you could do this. You gotta do it for yourself. Do it for all the could-have-beens, the would-have-beens, and the might-have-beens. Do it for Uncle Rico. Do it for all the dreamers. No pressure. Hi everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus. We'll see you there.